A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to 7 that I District Zero Mod. So during the night time, I have been super busy. I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, and also, I went back to the trader quickly and just grabbed this first. So I wanted to make sure we have the Forge of here. I had to make a new land claim there, drop it, destroy it, bring it here. It, it was a, a hassle. <laughs> but at least now that we have it, that's going to be awesome. I'm going to be selling these items over here and I'm just making some more meat right now. We also have a ton of more cobble blocks and stuff over here crafting. And yeah, let's go. Hello. The whole night there was nothing. All of a sudden there's some robots. I have to make an entrance over here so they can't get to me. So when I'm upstairs, they go for the entrance instead of going for my pillars over here. Yeah, the whole night while I was busy, there was nothing. So this must be a wandering horde. I should technically start wrenching them as well, but I'm looking for an impact driver or something. With this current wrench, it's just way too low a quality. Okay, so basically what I did was on this side, I started removing stuff, the vehicles, the whole trailer that was here. And then also when I was removing the trailer, or trailer, not trader, <laughs> when I was removing the trailer, all of a sudden this door fell off and I forgot that in this mod you can get back here. Yeah. it. I can't find my impact wrench. Oh, hey Where there. is the loot? Can you not loot that shelf? I'm just going to loot this. We still need three books for the electricity class because we want to be able... Does that open that door? Yeah, I, I want to have those three more books for the electricity class because we need to be able to make posts. I think it's this one. Wiring 101. So now if you go and look for the post. Still three more books, so it's not that one. Which one am I looking for then? 25. Let's just quickly check over here because I need to make sure we get that book. We have 22 out of 25. And this one, Traps. So electrical traps, that's the book we're looking for. Three of it. If we can find that, we'll be able to make electric fence posts for our base. But now I'm actually considering just going and making some barbed fencing like I did with my melee only series. And hopefully that will help a bit. We just want to slow them down. We can't even afford to buy... What was that? Nice. This will help and this definitely will come in handy when this one... Well, I mean, it's the same gun, right? Mine's a little better. So technically I can sell this one. But yeah, um, we, we need to also get to ourselves some turrets because we want to be able to shoot upwards at the zombies. At the moment, that's our biggest problem. We are uh, the, the drones and turrets and stuff, they're going to be an issue. Let's get you sorted. Okay, so let's sell this, 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 this. We can sell that one. This one we keep to knock the enemies off. This one's actually a really great find. This one over here. We have been starting to get radiated enemies, so I should probably get the rad remover. It's just a shame that we can't afford anything else over here. If we had some posts, we could actually buy those. And then, let's see under books. Nope, no electricity over here. That's unfortunate. Come okay, back soon. let's we go. Restock often. So I do that to keep them semi-safe. You can see the car over here, the trailer over here, everything around this place has been taken down. Uh, that over there, I've taken all, out all the satellites. I need to drop this, but that's 10,000 HP per pillar over there. So it's going to take a while before we can actually take that down. And then over here, I think the base is ready, right? It's day 14, so we're going to be facing the horde tonight. Enemies come up over here. Oh, ooh, ooh, I still need to put the corners in. I need to put the corners in. They're going to come up over here. They're going to come up over here. They're going to turn. I want them to reach me, so I'm not going to block them off over here. Yeah, okay, so we might have a little bit of an issue. I need to make sure we have some uh, iron on us to repair this. Now, if I could perhaps make this concrete, that'd be amazing. Although, I don't think we have concrete. Over here, we can throw explosives. Uh, I need one more hatch over there. Well, I'm just going to use a, wood, a wooden one, but this is going to break so fast during wood night. Especially if the drone shot, because they can shoot. And if they can shoot through these scaffolding ladders, we have an even bigger issue. Okay, see, I want to put the electric fence person over here to shock the enemies. At the moment, it's just going to be me and this. Ooh, 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 ooh. What I want to do? Repulsor mod. Let's really go make this. I'm going to put the repulsor mod on. If I can take three mods, that'd be awesome. Yes, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for this one. The rad remover. And the repulsor mod. So I'm going to have to take this one off. Because this does 25% more damage to droids and mechs. This one over here takes radiation, uh, radiation away from enemies. And then if I can put the repulsor on, we don't have to worry about the enemies overwhelming us by the doors. Okay, it seems we do have some concrete mix over here, and we do have the blocks over here crafting, so we should be able to add those corners in. I'm actually thinking of just taking four of these, 
And just before we go questing, at least just putting those corners in. And also perhaps... Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to put uh, the, the block up top, the V2 block that we usually use. I'm going to put downstairs over there to stop them from going for the side. Technically, I want to put another staircase going down over there. We should have enough blocks, but that's if I have enough time. For now, this should be enough for day 14. Day 7, we were very, very ill-prepared. Now we're doing way better. Let's do that, do that. Couple blocks. I mean, I can try and put the stairs in as far as I can. Let's see how far I can get. The moment that's done. Oh, we'll also have this one. I want to see if we have any mods that can go on this one. This. If we, have the, if we had the burning shaft mod, that would be amazing. Because the burning shaft mod would actually help with setting enemies alight as well as they get knocked down. So this one over here, modify. Boom, boom. Technically, no, I'm not going to waste that in there. We'll keep this for later because we know as soon as we get a, a better, get a better stun baton, we'll be able to use that. Speaking of stun baton, if we can make a level... Laser stun baton. Oh. Wait, why can't I make a normal baton? I can't make a normal stun baton. I can make a laser one, which probably should be way better than my stun baton over here. That's only level two. Unfortunately, we won't have enough steel. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we had enough to at least go to this stage over here. Just copy that shape. Now go over here and say simple rotation. Boom. So we just have to add the stairs in over here. And I want to do the same as we did over here, where we put the corner blocks in and we put this over here like so. Because usually sometimes this stops the zombies from smacking this. And if they do, they don't destroy the stairs. They destroy these. I'm just hoping the mechs. We should actually make another entrance as well. The mechs, because they're so huge and bulky, they might struggle turning over here to be able to get on. I might be able to make this like a perma design, but then this whole wall of here needs to go so that they can climb easy. But then again, if they come from that side, they still won't be able to make it on. Okay, so we have everything now. Uh, this needs to go upstairs. This will basically not really do anything because they can't, they can't get knocked down anyways. Uh, we can do this. I'm going to put one right here, but there's no point, actually. And if it's over here, and I'm over here, it's going to stop working. Yep. Huh. I wonder if instead of the junk turret, uh, the sledge turret, I shouldn't have a junk turret up, up on the roof. At least that will help shoot the drones and stuff flying uh, above. Okay, let's put all this stuff away. I just want to quickly grab the repulsor mod inside the workstation, put these away, and then we'll go to the quest. I can actually already make a level 5 steel pickaxe. So I think as soon as I have one of those, I should probably try and see if I can't make a bunker base. It is a pain sometimes getting to and from the bunker base because you have to travel so far down. But if I can make a nice straight line going down, that might be awesome. Like a ramp going all the way down to bedrock instead of just a straight path falling down and up. Because then we can drive up and down instead of having to run up and down. But that's only really if the mechs start doing insane damage to the base. Because those mechs, especially the ones that shoot lasers, their lasers do quite a bit of damage. So if that hits our base, we have a problem. Okay, we'll loot these vehicles now again. Let's just first focus on clearing out the enemies. It still feels kind of weird seeing robots and zombies together. I could have sworn I killed the cops now as well, along with the enemy. That's the first time I've used the Sun Baton where it did repulse a thingy but didn't kill everyone. I wonder if you have to have the candy to affect that. The 10% insta-kill basically you can do to a group, but I think the candy has to be involved. Something else just fall. Yep, something else just fell from upstairs. I need to get a bit of bow as well because at the moment we're still using a primitive one. Yes! Perfect! What are the odds of that happening? 
Right after we do this quest, we have to go back to the base. When I saw this vehicle, I was like, please tell me I haven't looted it yet. And they gave us all three books that we needed. Now that we have all three trap books, we can go and make those posts. That is amazing. And then for the baton, I think it counts as the same thing. I want to see what we need for the next level. The fact that you can't make normal stun batons means it's super, super weak. So if you go over here, I think it's under robotics. We need robotics. We need four more tech planet books so we can make a level three laser stun baton. And I realized we actually had more parts in the base. I had, two, I had two on me. That's why I was only able to make a level two. Well, that and the fact that my level was low. Bad. That was dumb. That was dumb, John. Don't get too close to that. See, that's what makes it so much harder. The fact that the robots and the zombies are basically working together. Oh, I don't have any proper healing on me. That is bad. This gives you 32 health, so I'll just take that. I was trying to shoot this dude in the head so many times, but I keep missing, missing, missing the whole time. Okay, so we have to go this way first when we drop down to be able to do that. And now we can go the other way around, but there might be more spiders, so we have to be careful. Okay, for some reason... Oh, it's just a fetch, that's why. I was about to say, the enemies aren't waking up. Nice, I'm so glad this thing can one-shot. At least these are... Well, the reason we can one-shot the, most of these is because they're weak. As you can see, that's not saying feral or overcharge or anything next to them. They're just weak versions. Okay, let's go loot these cars and the final stash, and then we have to go back and make those electric fence posts. If I can get those up and running before the horde, that would be amazing. Am I just missing the skill? Oh, Lucky Looter. Damn, yeah, I was just missing it. <laughs> I went through these like five, six times trying to find the Lucky Looter perk. We had one point, so I want to put it in there just in case we can get something awesome. Imagine getting that laser stun baton now. Uh, instead of making ourselves like a level 2 or level 3, we'll be able to make uh, find ourselves like a level 5. That would be epic. Shotgun. Um, I mean, we might have some shotgun rounds at the base. I want to try that. Also, this vehicle or this one. I think it was this one. Gave us a level 5 wrench. So now we're getting closer and closer to being able to wrench as fast as I want to. Now that we have this, we can put that on the sledge as well. Although, since we are, the design is so that it doesn't really knock zombies down, it's a waste to use that sledge. If we were still using those uh, centered blocks like we used to do in all our designs, then it'd be worth it. Okay, that. We need to go back inside and just loot everything else. I was really- oh yes! I was about to say, I was really hoping one of these have an engine inside. It's like the game can read my mind sometimes. Uh, I want to make a concrete mixer. We have some concrete mix at least for the pillars and poles and stuff. But I want to get another um, uh, engine so we can make a concrete mixer and make more concrete. What are the chances that the only reason that I looted those vehicles, I actually find it? Only thing is, I would have wrenched it, but we don't have enough time. Okay, so this is absolutely epic. It's insanely epic. I was so in a rush to get back to the base. I was like, huh, why is the marker not showing at the trader? That's because we haven't uh, grabbed the fetch yet. But the thing is, guys, we were almost already at the base and the fetch hasn't failed yet. Look at this. I was literally by the trader just now and been wondering why does it still say retrieve supplies? So they made it in this mod that you don't fail the quest. There's no like maximum distance you can get away from the POI before failing it. That is amazing. I think that's a feature for late game for when you start getting mechs and stuff and you have to run away. They don't keep failing the fetch quests. Unless that's just a bug, but that is awesome. Okay, we have to see if the trader doesn't sell some more forged iron quickly. If we can afford to just buy a little bit more, we might be able to make some more posts. Three, well, it should work, but I'll only be able to hook up two to really be meaningful. Although one post can send to two, so it'll have a weird shape to it. I'm prouder than a okay, big steel, yes. Uh, done. magazine Good for my job. AK, yes. Jobs, we'll accept one, we'll do it in the morning. I think I've got a few jobs. If it gets Ooh, penny porn, that's, a, uh, that's a difficult one. Okay, so 1.8, that's too much. We'll go for 21 for three more. I think it's seven per post. 
We actually sell these and we can get more, but th uh, six should be enough for now. I'm, uh, I mean, all we yeah, we can just wall, right? Another, how much can I get? 30. Now we'll make our own. For now, six should be uh, enough for the day 24 horde. Or the day 14, 24, what am I saying? <laughs> you can see I'm a little bit scatterbrained. I'm in such a rush to finish. Okay, so I want to get a few of these as well still. I'm hoping we have quite a bit of Molotovs already. That's the only reason I'm doing this right now. Pump shotgun might have been worth it, but we need to do way more questing. And if only he sold us the books that we needed right now, the tech planet books, then we can well, make I the stun baton. I might close up early today. You do that. It's hot night, so I'd get the safety if I were you. I mean, not that I'm giving you much choice. Base right next door. Before I went on the quest, I added the stairs in and the other sides as well. So now the enemies can get up from both sides and they'll be able to get to us. I want to see the concrete mix that we do have. Oh, speaking of. Mixer. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll have to use the, the forged iron that I do have. That's a shame. I'll have to use the forged iron that I have to be able to make um, the concrete mixer. Because that has to be crafting during nighttime. Or during a horde night. You can sell that. Sell this for now. Sell this for now. Get some more cash. Um. Yeah, the more we can buy right now, the better. I might be able to make one Thank more post. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm just going to make those posts, guys, and I'll uh, just quickly go and upgrade the pillars slightly. We only have like 190 or so concrete mechs, so we can only do 19 blocks worth of upgrades. I think the pillars are definitely uh, the, the must-have uh, must to upgrade right now. If the pillars are upgraded, we don't have to worry about this thing caving in. So I'm going to upgrade that, and then I'll see you guys during Horde Night. Okay, so the Horde is about to start. Uh, just a reminder, we are on Worry Difficulty, 200% XP for the content progression. Uh, we are on 64 Blood Moon Spawn, Nightmare Speed, and our explosives can do damage to us as well. Let's start. Ooh, I am actually a little bit nervous for this one. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get any more concrete mix or anything going, but with a little bit we had, we were able to at least upgrade like three blocks high with the two pillars outside, the important pillars, and then also a little bit where we are standing inside. Also, to make sure that the light behind us isn't too overpowering, the range I set down to like 20 blocks. Um, it's not just the intensity that affects how bright the light is. Listen over here. It's also the distance. So if you put it to 40, it's way brighter than this. Because it needs to go 40 blocks uh, long. But yeah, I do have some barbed wire on us. So we'll be able to use it over here. Uh, we do have the electric fence post going. I need to... Yeah, that is on. That is closed. That is closed. Okay. We can actually use these MP grenades as well. If we see like really big amounts of robots and stuff. Because this does really cool effects. And yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to go. We have four minutes left. And see, no points to spend. I'm just going to pop these over here. They lost. Yeah, so they're going to last the whole horde, basically. Let's do one more. And with the XP elixir as well. The only problem in doing this and stacking the XP elixirs and stuff is the fact that if you die, you lose these effects. Yeah, they're spawning inside the trader as well. Poor trader. I'm just going to drink this to offset the amount of recogs we took. I'm going to see where they're coming from. Oh, they're already in the front of you. Hello. See, the bar fencing is slowing them down. And then we have the electric fence post of here. So this is going to be very, very loud, which means I need to tweak the sound and editing. I want to test, though... As we get more enemies and cops and stuff, whether it's going to be necessary to even have the bog fencing. Oh, no, already a cop. Oh, I should have shot him. You need to stop them from vomiting. The only way to do that is to interrupt their vomiting session. Oh, bye, 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 bye. As long as we can just make sure we keep hitting... I want to melee, basically, the whole horde. As long as we can make sure that we are shooting the cops that don't uh, vomit at us, we should be good to go for the whole horde. I'm going to use the shotgun as well for the drones once they get close. Crap. Did not see them in the distance. That would have been bad. I need to fo uh, focus on the front of here when I'm hitting so they don't hit me and they don't break this. But also... At that over there. We have to make sure to interrupt them so they don't go and vomit at us. See, this is why you need the repulsor mod. 
I just I was able to throw this whole group over just now. We have to be careful of these spiders. They're going to be an issue for us. Crap. I hit it when the weapon doesn't want to swap properly. Okay, we're getting so many enemies on us right now. We, we don't even have time to actually repair anything. At least I'm hoping they don't push each other through here because that's going to be a problem. Already this Horde Knight's way bigger than the previous one. I might just want to put the sledge down because so many are making it over. Without that sledge turret, we have this many in our faces the whole time. You just interrupt him once so he can keep running. And then when he's close enough, we can just melee him to death. You have to make sure you hit the crop just once. Come on, cuppers! This is working really, really well at the moment. I just want to loot every now and then as well, just in case we get something awesome. Imagine getting the stun baton that we've been looking for. Just hit him once, he won't vomit. Nice. We don't even have time to swap out the barbed wires over here because there's too many corpses and stuff in the way. I should probably make the same design as in melee only, where I have a door over here. You just open up the door, let the corpses and bags fall. That block is going to get destroyed, unfortunately. See a cop in the back? I just want to shoot him once, please. I need to also keep my eyes and ears open for when he starts to run and look like he's going to explode. Reload, reload, reload. I need to use some explosive and stuff to be able to really difficult with the enemies of here. Shoot him once. He might explode downstairs, but that's fine. Woo! Non-stop enemies! And I'm doing fire attacks with my stun baton, but because I'm not continuously doing fire attacks, it seems it's okay, even without the... Okay, not a grip. The thing is, as long as you keep the props... Unlocked, they won't vomit on you. We're gonna have to make this whole base concrete and steel as soon as possible use all the vomiting that does get through. I didn't put that door. I just realized if I wanted to repair my electric fence post, I won't be able to leave the doors. Yeah, there's no doors to have the zombies drop and not be able to get to me. If I can actually put some electric fence post or something over here with uh, turrets, I can just step on that and then I have them help me while I do repairs over here. But these electric fence posts are going to fail. At least we do have the stun baton so it's going to help us, but these posts so far are helping us really a lot. I should technically every now and then just see if I can't do some repairs.
Like, I'm just a little bit quiet. I have to mute because the dogs are going crazy in the background. So if you hear me, if I'm quiet for like extended periods of time, you know, I'm just muting on my mic. Oh, I hit him too soon. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to repair the doors and let you close first, because I, but I don't have a time to just uh, rest. It's after midnight, so now the most amount of enemies are coming. Oh no, there's a robot dog. No, 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 no. If I can just keep them stunned and send them flying. I wonder if I can send them flying with a false mod as well. I think you can. The nice thing is as long as I keep hitting this one, it'll affect the rest of the back. Okay, do that. Do this. Okay, we are a little bit screwed over here. There's way too many enemies. I needed to add the door in, but I didn't. That's gonna cost me dearly right now. There's still a spine up on my feet, and that's gonna be a problem. It's gonna keep hitting me through the door here. I'm gonna throw some explosives, but I know I might just hit myself. I have ones that can do damage to robots. These pulse ones. See, that shocks them basically, almost like electric fence post dude. Oh, I can actually chuck a few normal ones in here as well, so the pulse ones set them all. Oh, they're digging into the wall over there, that's not good. But I think that might also be to do with um, crop damage. The crops are vomiting over here too much. Okay, I have to drink the coffee. I had all of this, uh, this coffee on me, but I didn't drink a single one so far. Oh crap. Uh, that was a mistake. I wonder if I do this now and chuck one of these in there. Nice. Although I feel like I did some damage to my base just now with that one. <laughs> but I need to just get a little bit of a bre uh, breath in over here. Damn. As from next week, I won't have to worry about dogs barking in the background. I cannot wait. It's going to be like a dream come true. Okay, we're just going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I need to throw a few normal grenades in there as well. The only way to do that is by doing this. Okay, and then do this. I don't even have time to throw uh, grenades outside and look at the zombies. It's been non-stop in my face over here. It's insane. We need that laser stomaton as soon as possible. I think especially with robots, it's going to be awesome. First thing I need to upgrade over here is gonna have to be my doors, my hatches, because the hatches are gonna fail soon. Okay, I uh, need to repair that, need to drink this. Oh, how did you get through? No, 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 no. Oh crap, I'm dead, I'm dead. What a time to reload. These doors probably need repairs right now, but I don't have a tool on me to repair them. The nice thing is, as long as you hit the robots, it does still repulse the enemies behind it. And do damage to the robots at the same time, the dog. Woo, this is insane! 
They're ragdolling through there, so I need to be careful. Okay, last pulse. And do I have any healing that's really going to help me right now? Okay, let's try one a few of these. This does damage to robots and... Oh crap, they just made it through. They just made it through. Damn. I can't believe how insane that is just now. I'll need to run away. The base just failed. I uh, might be able to shoot shotgun style. I think we might actually be able to do this now as well. Is he going to fall through? No, that went too far. It should fall through to their legs. Oh, the robots can open up doors and I didn't lock the doors. That's not good. Okay, we'll have to go. We'll have to go. We'll have to go. Bye-bye, doggy. Bye-bye, doggy. Bye-bye, enemies. Okay, the idea right now is to see if we can't get to a, a safe spot quickly. We just quickly want to put this down. So we can take a breather and then we want to put this on us. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that hatch failed so bad. I need to go and put a new hatch, but I'm hoping the enemies have disappeared on me. Did I just see vomit? Might be a cop, might be something else. We have to be careful. I'll have to put that door in so when we get overwhelmed, we can just remove the, uh, the zombies. Have them all fall. Okay, I need to be careful not to explode myself. Heal a bit. We basically have to run back now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't even see what this thing's rotated as. I think that was the right, the right rotation. No, that one's the right rotation. Oh crap, they're still here. Seriously? Ooh, okay. And they are gone, right? Awesome. But now this door's gonna break because it's wood. Let's just fix that. That's going to help us out. See, the electric fence post failed, so they were able to hit the door easier. Woohoo! Just in time. I need to put some turrets and stuff inside of here as well, so if I need to reload and repair or whatever, they can help me out a bit. Damn. Let me just catch a breather over here quickly. Okay, for the dogs, because they seem to be able to get in no matter what, we'll do that. And yeah, I was about to say, now I can't see the enemies. As I'm hoping you guys don't hear the dogs too bad in the background, because my family knows I'm recording, but they just don't give a shit. It's so annoying trying to work, but they let the dogs just go crazy in the background. And you might not even hear them that badly, but it's also because I'm cutting out most of the barking. I'm gonna have to make some backup uh, uh, hatches over here as well. Basically, we'll have hatches on their side and hatches on our side. So if the one hatch fails, we still have another defense. We can even put it over here and put another block over there. So as, as soon as one fails, we just step back and open up the rest. At least we're getting quite a bit of XP during this. There's no way I'm not getting a ton of XP for all of this. Just non-stop corpses this time around. <laughs> but yeah, if those electric fence posts didn't fail, we'd be set. Uh, but I need... Yeah, they're supposed to be... Four during uh, the whole Horde Night. And another four uh, that comes on at midnight. So we have two and two, we need to have eight and eight.
Oh, I'm out of ammo. I can't even shoot him all my 76 tools. So if a cop wants to vomit right now, it's gonna vomit. Okay, let's just reload this because this is gonna help us. Oh wow, the dog's actually very vulnerable against uh, shotgun. Oh, you exploded here. Just knocked him back a bit. Yeah, that was a proper just now. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. The amount of damage over here just from cops. I have to deal with a cop somehow. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have to do something about them. Oh, the electric fence posts are still on. That's good. Let the cop get closer. I want the cop all the way here before we do anything. Nice, night vision. Tech planets. We're, I think, two tech planets away from being able to make stun batons, laser stun batons. Okay, technically I could turn the electricity off right now because I don't think we're going to need it anymore. Except if there's more cops and stuff. Oh, yep, there's a few more cops. Let's just reload. Have we found any more 762? No. That's unfortunate. Probably see if I can't throw an explosive or two at them. Damn, they did real, a lot of damage to the side of the uh, base of here. I stopped them as much as I can, but it seems they were still able to see me from a weird angle. Get closer, get closer. I really thought I might be able to hit him from that far away, but nope. Okay. Let's turn this off and go get the rest downstairs. As long as we don't now get ferals and stuff, we should be good. Oh, there's still a feral to left of here. But as long as I do this, crowd control, it's fine. Lady, where are you going? I need to get that cop quickly before it does more damage. Oh, crap. Okay, that could have been bad. Damn, feral. I need to have proper healing on me as well. We only have these small bandages. We need some first aid kits like crazy. Okay, I'm going to save this for the, sh uh, for the cop. And we're going to use this for these normal ones. Okay, that's bad. We actually have a dog left over here. Where's the dog? Did I kill it upstairs with the stun baton? I didn't know the stun baton was that powerful. Damn. Unless he's just hiding up there waiting for me to get back up. That's gonna be messed up. Okay, so let's quickly get the loot over here. Are you stuck in the floor? You poor soul. And then you... Yeah, he's dead. Nice. We got quite a bit more loot this time, but guys, we have to add those doors. This is not going to hold for day 21. <laughs> Basically, we need to make a doorway. Oh, uh, for the version 1.1 experimental that they released, uh, they said something about making powered doors instead of 75, 55 books. So that's going to help us uh, just be able to do that. Basically, the idea is we want to be able to stand. Just going to show you guys this. We want to be able to stand over here and then just open uh, just open us up doors over here. At the moment, the zombies were overwhelming us, and then as soon as the electric fence posts break, they break the hatches. But if you put doors in over here, like a double door, the moment you get overwhelmed, you just uh, step back, you open it up, and then it, all of them fall down. So instead of hatches, I should have um, th these bars, because the hatches only have 3,000 HP, these are 5,000. And then before they break these, you just open up the door, you do some repairs, you do some repairs, and then voila, you are set. But yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content.
See you guys next time for some more 7 Days to Die District Zero mod. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 Days to Die server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.